Let's start this video with two claps and a Ric Flair. Woo! All right. So Art Block's total sales from November 2020 to October 2021 has a total of $1 billion in sales. They had 27 unique buyers back in November and up to 12,075 unique buyers back in August of this year. Let's talk about Art Blocks and explore Doodle Labs. What is up, NFT Explorers? Mike DeMazzo here to help you navigate through the metaverse as your no shill resource. What is Art Blocks? Art Blocks is an Ethereum based NFT project that generates on chain generative art. Snowfro, aka Eric Calderon, started wanting to be an artist and followed his exploration of making art with code from projection mapping, 3D printing, then finally landing on generative art. In 2017, he stumbled across a Reddit thread where the founders of Larva Labs were encouraging people to claim crypto punks, you know, crypto punks, back in 2017. That was exactly four years ago. Basically, in crypto timeline, that's ton, like four decades, really. It was his first time owning a digital image, which felt revolutionary. Obviously, at this time, we are still early. And in 2018, he began selling his crypto punk zombies for $200 each to pay developers. A crypto punk zombie floor right now is 2,200 ETH or about 8.9 million at the time of this recording. See, he had this vision and plan with creating art blocks. He launched back in November 2020 with his first drop, which was Chromie Swiggles. Art Blocks is the first of its kind platform focused on generally programmable on demand generative content that is stored immutably on the Ethereum blockchain. So, what is next? You're probably wondering, you know, once you create Art Blocks. Let's go over Doodle Labs a bit. Their platform is powered by Art Blocks generative minting technology. That means what they use for art blocks will be used here. Their aim is to bring high quality collectible NFTs written on chain. Now, on chain, off chain, what, what is it? On chain means it isn't a simple loading image. It is a real time rendering of a generative piece of art that is immutably preserved on the Ethereum blockchain. A lot of the NFTs are hosted on centralized servers and the token simply points to a server that hosts that file. Now, with Artbox, it's different. With Artbox technology, it is created on chain that is decentralized, immutable, and establishes its provenance on the blockchain. Doodle Lab's mission comes down to three main things build a community, empower collectors to connect with brands and artists, build value focused on a long term roadmap offering utility whenever possible. And lastly, the third thing is sharing the love, bringing the magic of generative minting to a broader audience out there. So if you haven't seen Art Blocks, definitely check out their website and do a bit more research on that. Well, let's talk about each thing. Community, community, community. That's everyone's favorite word. We've heard those words before and we are all aware that community is, it goes down in the Discord and the community is also in Twitter. And also here on YouTube. A lot of the OG collectors trust Snowfro with what he's building and the community forms around that trust and the history of what the person has brought to this space. Now, with building value with no specific roadmap to point to their first drop will be seen as their Genesis project of Doodle Labs using Art Blocks technology. In my opinion, this is this is kind of huge, you know, they already create a shared value among collectors. Now, sharing the love aspect prior to the change of our box website and switch to a Dutch auction, there was definitely magic there. In my own experience, it was the website was super simple. It was clean, you know, didn't really have anything with rarities and everything and finding the different the differences with like curated factory and all that i like enjoy the experience one of the per people that i minted was coached with origami dream it was just different to see how simple and clean the website was and it forced me to look at each individual artist with their previous work and it made me want to like okay i kind of vibe with this person's art so i went and minted his 
now that we know keeping up with the rabbit hole of going from art blocks to doodle labs what is the first featured project from doodle labs the family of MOOCs explain so doodle labs features the family of MOOCs as a foundation for which the platform is built upon so of MOOC, the family MOOCs is from Michael Caves McClear. His portfolio includes designing exclusive visual for Jaguar, Nike, Rockstar Games, WWE, Pony, MTV, Adidas, and so many others. He's even done acting and filmmaking. Speaking of acting, he's actually in that new Sopranos movie that's coming out and operated, and he has owned and operated a number of tattoo parlors. The story of the family Mooks is it started around 98 to 99 in Mike's head as he was doodling characters, creating neighborhood, creating neighborhood characters. When he drew uh, the Mama character, it clicked and he could hear her say, my sons are a bunch of Mooks. And there we go. The story was born. The story is a disorganized crime family living in Brooklyn, combining a little mix of the Godfather meets the Adams family, if you know, that's how he even described it. Originally, the total mint was going to be 10,000 and the drop mechanic is a pre-sale and Dutch auction. Dutch auction basically means it starts at one price and keeps going down. For pre-sale, you need to be a part of the whitelist and you purchased a MOOC token, which was an ERC-20 token. A total of 2,206 MOOC tokens were claimed, 7,794 were available in the public sale, and any unsold family MOOC NFT will be removed from the supply. So you're able to claim your MOOC NFT after the public sale or whenever you wanted to. Um, it was open to wherever if you were a MOOC token holder. This allows you to not participate in gas wars, and the public sale was a Dutch auction that started at 1 ETH and lowering the price every five minutes to a resting price of 0.2 ETH. So the total to, came about to be 3,951 and the 2,206 of that supply was from the whitelist, meaning 1,745 was from the public sale. The family of MOOCs current floor is 0.229 ETH. The roadmap offers a MOOCs Print shop offering a one of one signed prints, merch, access to NFT NYC exclusive events, family collector perks, monster mashup activation, and one of the most important parts, in my opinion, is the family MOOCs will serve as a Genesis token for the Doodle Labs platform for future utility to the community. So it's kind of huge. Let's look back at Artblocks, their first project. There was Chromie Squiggle by Snowfro. This is how I'm approaching Doodle Labs with their first project being the family MOOCs. It'll be interesting what they will do with this Genesis of NFT. So my question to you is actually, have you heard of Artblocks? What do you think of Doodle Labs with the family of MOOCs NFT? Did you mint? Sound off in the comments below with what you think. Tap that thumbs up for this video because it doesn't cost you any ETH or you don't even have to participate in any gas wars. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other videos on NFT projects that help you navigate through this space. Stay legendary and I'll see you in the metaverse.